All right, guys, it's Charlie Tango 1994 back with another YouTube video. First week of April, uh, this is the first day in several weeks that it's been warm enough to, to come out uh, without a jacket on. And um, I have to say, today, compared to the last few days, which has been pretty much torrential rain, um, we've got a much nicer spring day. So I brought myself out to take a look at my CB antenna because <coughs> uh, it's got a few issues um, we've had some fairly strong winds over the last couple of months a few snowstorms all that sort of stuff so my poor little aerial is uh, a bit beaten up um, the main thing as you can probably see is that the coax cable that connects to the bottom of the antenna um, has, has freed itself up and is now laying on the floor so that's one thing I need to look at and I also need to just adjust the length there's a swire on it at the moment will be terrible when I do connect it. So don't, you probably can't make it out, but one of the sections that should be set to a, an appropriate length has slid back inside itself. And it's a sort of a known issue with this antenna. Uh, it's a Sigma halfway, by the way. Um, the, the Jubilee clips are a little bit too bob, if you like. Um, so they don't tighten up very well. And I mean, to be fair, it's been up there for two years, so it's done well enough. I just need to put it down today, readjust everything, get them smart in properly, and uh, obviously get the coax cable connected, and a few other little maintenance bits and pieces that we need to do while we've got it down. So, before I actually take it down, it's worth sort of talking through the components that I'm using. Um, I basically put it together from bits and pieces of it, knocking around and, and a few extra bits um, as I say over the last two years. Uh, so just to show you, it's actually built around uh, an old uh, garden umbrella, just just a wooden stand on, a, uh, on an iron base, quite a weighty base. And where it is, it is actually freestanding, so I've not got it physically attached to the side of the building. It's, um, it's quite well sheltered anyway, so it's just literally tied on to that drain pipe and uh, everything's kind of bolted through that. So let's take a closer look at that. So as I say, I've got this metal base on it, which is quite heavy. And then um, on the sort of wooden post, uh, I've got various bits and pieces. So, so let me just show you that. Obviously a couple of bungees because um, the, the fulcrum on it is, is quite high um, I've had to strap it in pretty well down the bottom um, with a couple of bungees because that will swing out if it was too high so uh, securing it at the bottom is, is an important thing and then holding on to the wooden pole itself uh, is a couple of D-clamps uh, one sort of halfway down and then one near the top really uh, I've also got on this um, a pole joiner or a mast joiner because we had a massive storm uh, last year and the way I had it set up what happened in the end was this, this wooden pole broke so I had to invest in one of these which is just <coughs> just holding the two bits of wood which are now separate together and then <coughs> I went out and bought uh, this 20 foot of one and a half inch um, pole, mast, which gives me 20 foot right up to just about the roof line. Um, and then obviously the antenna is attached to that. So as I say, it's freestanding. Um, it isn't earthed properly, which is one of the comments that someone made a while back. Uh, how is it earthed? And truthfully it isn't. So. I do need to be careful with that and there might be something that I do in the future to, to, to ground it better because um, it could be an issue one day. So we'll, uh, we'll loosen all this up and uh, get it laid down on its side and then we can get to the aerial and do what we've got to do next. So let's crack on with that. If you're new to this channel and would like to see more CB related videos, feel free to hit the subscribe button below and watch out for new videos uploaded every Wednesday. If you enjoy my videos, don't forget to hit the like button or leave me a note in the comments section. Also, if you're new to CB Radio, watch this video through to the end to find out more about the free gift I offer to all of my subscribers.
Right, so I've got it down now and uh, it just sort of runs the, the length of the decking and I've just pulled off the top section the last uh, five foot of, um, of the mast to show you the antenna itself. So as I say, it's a, it's a Sigma half wave. Um, fairly long, I can't remember the actual length of it. Obviously it needs to be a specific length. But uh, this was the area that I had an issue with. Um, the gaps between these two sections of antenna are uh, too short. Um, so I need to put it out, tie it up, jubilee clips, and uh, should be around, around about the right length. We'll stick a screw on the end of it, uh, a couple of tests, and we should be good to go after that. So I've made some adjustments to the length of that section of the antenna, um, just by eye. What there should be is little marks um, when you first buy them, there certainly is, um, they'll show you kind of where the correct length is. Um, obviously over time that's kind of worn off, so I'm having to do it by eye, which we'll have to see. Um, I'm going to uh, just get it basically strapped on to, to these banisters here, uh, just to get it upright, stick the coax on it and stick a swire meter on it and we'll, we'll make whatever adjustments we need to make to get the swire down and uh, then we can start putting it back up again but hopefully it shouldn't be more than a 10 minute job. Right, so I've set it all up temporarily, um, adjusting the length just to, uh, to give us a start point and then I'm strapped just the top section to the, uh, to the decking um, just so I've got access to it to make any adjustments I need to. Um, and then I've got the coax reconnected and uh, this is a 10 meter length of, of coax cable, um, well in fact two. So what I've had to do is, is join them together um, just so the additional length then runs into my garage stroke radio shack. So just to show you the joiner and uh, I've got another section of coax that I want to use. I've got a bit of a problem with the other end and uh, laziness more than anything else rather than pulling out the soldering iron and uh, just fixing the other connection at the other end. I just went out and bought another section of cable because I'm probably going to use either this one or I might have another one knocking around for the DX activation so I want one in a bag and I want to leave my home base set up. So we're going to swap this out and run this end, uh, or the new section, um, back into the garage and then I can attach a swirl meter and a radio and we can start testing. So we've got a new length of 10 meter coax with a PL259 on either end. Um, I'm going to join it together, take this old section off and then put this new cable in um, and run it into the garage and we're on to the next step. So I've pulled off the old section of coax and as you can see the, uh, the plug come off the end of it so just being lazy basically I could resolder it and I will do um, at some point but it was just easier to order up another length of coax which I've now run down into the garage and then on the right hand side is the section of coax that runs out to the antenna in the garden so I'm just going to join them together with the, uh, the connector there and uh, we've got a full length run in between the garage or radio shack and the antenna. So to show you then the uh, two sections of antenna joined together and uh, we'll get a swire meter out and uh, get the radio switched on and start doing some testing. Got everything loosely connected up now so um, got the swire meter on and uh, running the cable out to the antenna uh, and then a patch cable running into the back of the radio and we can start testing for swire. So it turned into more than a 10 minute job. I've been spending 20 minutes or so faffing around with the swire meter. Not happy with the results at all. Uh, just not quite in the red but well above two. Uh, so things ain't right and I suspect it's my patch cable. So I'm gonna have a route around for another one. But I've needed to put the aerial back up um, roughly adjusted because uh, the weather's on the turn, the wind is up and it uh, looks like rain's going to come fairly soon. So before I get all wet, I'm going to go back indoors. But 
It's a chance to show you the aerial anyway. As I say, it's a, a Venom half wave. I was about 35 pounds. It's one of the cheapest half waves. Um, to be honest, that could be part of the reason not to struggle so much with the SWR. But I do have a aerial matcher, which I'm gonna utilize. I don't wanna really keep it in line the whole time, but uh, just to get things fired up and working again. Um, now I've got the coax connected to the antenna, so that's uh, that's an important part of the process. And uh, I'm going to go and test for signals now. So back in the shack, uh, I'm just going to have a general tidy up, rerun the cables in here, uh, stuff like that. But up on the 3-4, um, and excuse any language, they were swearing earlier on, but we've got a couple of signals in. So in terms of receiver, all right. Uh, just to transmit a bit of an issue at the moment because of the SWR but we'll spend some more time indoors and uh, hopefully away from the rain um, just trying to figure it out and uh, try a couple of other rigs out as well so quick tidy up and then uh, sign off got everything tidied up now um, tidied all the cables away and stuff so it's uh, it's pretty clear and uh, Still more work to do sadly, um, would have been nice to get the swell down to a reasonable level but there you go. Uh, what I might do if there's a break in the weather, either later today or tomorrow, is get the aerial down again, make some more adjustments. Or route around for my um, aerial matcher, uh, leave that on for the time being, certainly if I'm going to be running SSB from my other rig. But that's really what I want to do, I want to... Uh, start getting some signals in just have a listen to who's out there because it's been a while since I've been able to get on on the air uh, mainly because it's freezing cold in here during the winter so uh, nice that things are warming up a bit and as I say in lots of my videos I'm making plans for some trips out in the summer so check into uh, my YouTube channel whenever you get a chance there'll be some more interesting CB radio stuff going up soon um, as always leave me a comment uh, hit the like button for me and hit subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in another YouTube video soon. Cheers guys. Hope you enjoyed watching this video and as a thank you to you particularly if you're new to CB radio or returning to it after many years I've put together a free information series called the beginner's guide to CB radio which I'm sharing with all of my subscribers. To find out more click the link in the top right corner now. And new for 2018 is my CB radio playlist.